Hello and welcome to a really quick episode. So yesterday was exciting. We are in day six of 12 days of OpenAI. I honestly do not know what they have hidden for the still remaining other six days where OpenAI are still expected to even still drop more things. They dropped the biggest things, I think, in the first six days. I don't know if they have any hidden surprises for the remaining ones. For today, we got two updates or it could be one. One concerning integration into Apple Intelligence and Apple. We're going to look at that quickly. And the other one is the voice model with vision capabilities. So basically, you talk to the voice model, but you actually open the camera, show it things, ask it questions, and so forth. And hey, if you're new to the channel, my name is Samer. I'm all about AI and technology, automation, no code, low code. I try to help you to do much more with these tools when it comes to your personal life and career. And with this, let's get started. Subscribe to Daddy's channel. The mic. Okay, so here you have a look at my desktop. I have my iPhone mirrored on the desktop. I want to show you the first part of the announcement, which is ChatGPT integration into uh, Apple Intelligence. And the way it works is that Apple Intelligence has its own model loaded on the device that can do a lot of things for you. But if you ask it something I would assume more complex, it can refer back to ChatGPT directly without having to switch. And any subject where you're engaging with Apple Intelligence about that actually goes to ChatGPT to get you an answer, you will also find it in your ChatGPT records or a window of uh, threads that you normally do when you start a chat. And to access this and activate it, you're going to have to update your mobile to the iOS 18.2. Now to do this, you're going to go to settings. And when you're in settings, you'll go to Apple Intelligence. If you scroll down in Apple Intelligence, you're going to find an extension, which is ChatGPT. I don't know if that means that they will integrate more things in the future, but for now it's ChatGPT. You click at it. And here, you can actually have it without uh, logging in or signing up or basically connecting your account. But I've done that. I've connected my account. And here, there's a shortcut to open the app. And that's the only thing you need to do. Obviously, you need to activate Use ChatGPT. And then this is for Siri, Confirm ChatGPT Request. And what it does is basically, if ChatGPT can help with the request, Siri will ask you before sending any information to ChatGPT. Siri will always ask permission before sending a file to ChatGPT. So this is just another layer. So at least you are aware which is answering what. At least I kept it activated. And from there, once you engage with Siri, based on your request and the context of that request, it will either maintain things within Apple Intelligence or actually divert to ChatGPT to get you an answer. Okay, so to showcase this, it doesn't work on the mirroring, so I'll have to do it here straight from my mobile. So what I will do now is prompt Siri through voice and ask it to do something a little bit more complex. So the odds are it will take me to ChatGPT and I will show you how that works uh, in real time. So let's go to uh, an image. This is an image of a thumbnail. So this is a thumbnail for a new video I posted, which is about the Ripplet's new AI assistant, a groundbreaking feature they rolled out. So let me click on the side button. Hey Siri, can you analyze this image for me and tell me exactly what it contains and give me a complex and detailed instructional of how to make it a much better YouTube thumbnail. So here I get a prompt to take it to ChatGPT. I'm hit, gonna hit send. Now it's going to ChatGPT to get me the answer and it will return the answer from ChatGPT directly into Siri itself. So it's working with ChatGPT. You can see that here, maybe it's not clear. And I got my answer. So it's telling me making better YouTube thumbnail. Uh, so it's, it's giving me all the details I asked for from the image. Now it's saying here, which is interesting, Siri, come on, um, that it can't analyze the image directly. So let's go to ChatGPT. So if I go to ChatGPT, I'm getting um, the access for the camera. So you can see it also here. It's good that I'm doing the review um, in the same video. Okay, so now let's see and check out the voice model with vision capabilities. So basically we hit this button, which usually takes us to the voice model. How's everything going with anything new or interesting you've been working on lately? Well, I hear you have something interesting and something new. You can have, um, you have vision capabilities now, so you can see 
what I'm all about. I don't have the ability, but I can definitely help with descriptions or analyze images if you share them. Are you working on something visual for your channel? Okay, so I put it on mute so I don't confuse the hell out of um, the voice model. But you can see here now we have those three dots and you can see it maybe clearer in the demo that OpenAI shared. If you click on it, we can basically upload a photo, take a photo and share screen while talking to ChatGPT voice model. So I can share the screen and ask it something around what we have on my mobile. So I'll do the thumbnail thing again. So let me start with the camera. Okay, so now I activated it. So you can see I have the camera view. It's looking great, straight at us and the voice model is still up there. So let me take a look here and take a picture. Hey, um, can you see my studio and see me in it? What do you think about my studio? Your studio looks awesome. The sound isolators and microphone setup give it a professional vibe and the lighting is really cool. It seems like a great environment for recording video. How do you feel about it? So how, how many mics I have in my studio? It looks like you have two microphones in your studio, one large microphone on a boom arm and another mounted above your camera. They should give you some great audio flexibility. How are they working out for you? Good, uh, from the image, could you tell what kind of microphones I have? Based on the image, it looks like you have a Rode microphone on the boom arm. The one mounted above your camera also appears to be a Rode microphone. They're well regarded for their audio quality. So if, if you're wondering, it's a, it's a Rode and it's a Shure microphone. Anyways, so let me now go to the screen share and see that image and see if we get what we didn't get from Apple Intelligence here. So I'll hit share screen and screen broadcast, start broadcasting. So I get this window, I hit start broadcasting. It should be working now. So it's looking at my screen. I remove the mute and go to that picture and give it the request. Um, this is a thumbnail I used for one of my YouTube videos. If you're seeing my screen, can you give me some feedback on it? Is there a way to improve it to uh, increase my click-through rate with my audience? Your thumbnail looks vibrant and engaging. The bright colors and central figure grabbing attention are great. To improve it further, you might consider adding a short, bold text overlay that highlights the video's key message or value. A clear and concise phrase could help attract viewers' attention even more. So what are the words that now you can read on my thumbnail? The words on your thumbnail are super and power placed on either side of the image. The text is clear and bold, which is great for catching attention. Adding more context or an intriguing phrase could make it even more compelling. So obviously I can do that by actually um, attaching an image to the model and getting the same result pretty much. So I know this is a short one. I twisted my back doing the last segment. I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, it's crazy, really good. Um, Apple Intelligence with ChatGPT, I, I would say it's a gain for Apple Intelligence, uh, less for ChatGPT. Okay, they associate with themselves with a huge consumer base that Apple has when it comes to mobile devices, but nothing even compares to what these guys are doing in OpenAI. If you've noticed, I asked Siri about the image and it was open, it didn't give me an answer. It couldn't read that image while ChatGPT native app within the Apple ecosystem was able just to look through things, answer me, and be accurate. The only thing it got right, which is to be fair to the model, uh, it's the sure uh, mic I have here and I was showing it maybe in a twisted angle and the whole thing wasn't showing so it made a prediction which is still good. So let's keep waiting to see what we get in the next six days. I'm doing much more videos than I ever did but this is exciting times. They're grabbing people attention. It's a smart marketing way to do things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll keep you posted with things as they come and with this thank you very much and goodbye. Subscribe to daddy's channel. Give me the mic.